when, you know, no joke, we really came up with any time in our home bar, part of what we really educated ourselves around were the types of grains that can be used to Mm. distill and make, you know, agricultural products, making alcohol products and, Mm. you know, moving away from just the, wow, Tito's talks about being corn based. Wow. A lot of imported products talk about being potato based. And we're like, Mm. wait, 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 wheat, you know, is one of the third largest crops planted in the U S the arable land potential here for us to transform conventional acres right, with healthy rotations to Mm. organic, to rock, right, through a process. Wow, we're now talking about a lot of land. But as we looked at the alcohol space, it's a $4 trillion market. Mm. That's pretty untapped for- And recession-proof. Yeah, it's wild tam, man, wild tam, crazy. And it was just this divide of like, okay, we know fruits and veggies, but like this is huge and this is so much land- and we can help the same types of growers or different growers, but in the same way where it wasn't, it didn't feel far off for our heads mentally of like mm-hmm. working with growers, finding retail products where consumers could help support the land. It was just a different aisle of the grocery store that we were talking about now. Um, yeah. And, and, oh, sorry, they but like riding on the coattails of craft beer, a lot of movement yeah. around natural, organic wine. Right. Mm -hmm. It was obvious the consumer is filling up their cart with organic products. We know the growth in the organic market. Alcohol has slowly started. And when it comes to spirits and canned cocktails, you're like, oh, there's still so much room here. And we know the consumer is interested. 